Hey everybody, I am making good old fashioned spaghetti and meatballs tonight. I wanted to um, eat something that was a little more like comfort food on this cold chilly day. So I thought, you know what, rather than order out, I'll just use the ingredients I have in the fridge and we will just eat at home. It's Friday night and looks like things are changing up a little bit and things are opening up more this weekend after today. So, um, I want to kind of get rid of these groceries we've got and make something yummy. So, what I've got here is an entire squash and zucchini and a small Vidalia onion that I have uh, minced, almost minced, um, to the tiniest little size so that I can disguise it in my spaghetti sauce so it's not too chunky. I've cooked it down a little bit of um, olive oil, salt and pepper. I'm going to add some pesto because I love pesto. Um, it's going to go really well with the sauce. I've also got some um, garlic that I'm going to put in. Two, probably two big helpings of garlic. And then I'm going to add some oregano, salt and pepper, and cook it down a little bit more so that I can get ready to add my meatballs. Now the meatballs are an Angus beef meatball. They're Rosina is the brand. I think they're really, really good. And they um, are very lean. So what I'm gonna do here is just cook all this down, make sure it gets well blended. And then I'm gonna add the meatballs to brown everything together. And then I'm gonna add two jars of the REO sauce. Um, I've just got one is a, I think they're both tomato basil today. So this has some vegetables for my boys that they typically wouldn't eat in big pieces. So having this um, already cooked down is gonna make it really easy to thicken up the sauce and just make it really good. I'm gonna add a few more items um, towards the end and I'll show you that and I'm gonna put it over linguine tonight. So I'll show you a picture when I'm done and um, hopefully Everybody at your house is safe and warm and having a great night. So stay tuned for more pics and I will catch up with you soon. I thought I would show you a couple of tricks just because I know there's a lot of new um, graduates out there and folks that are just kind of getting into cooking for themselves with a new apartment or a new house. And um, these are just really helpful tips. When you're boiling water, first of all, cut your, or break your pasta in half so that it doesn't cook unevenly and it all goes in at the same time rather than it going in and, and slowly cooking down and coming off the side of the um, pot. That way your, your noodles will cook evenly. Never cover all the way while you're cooking because as you can probably see what'll happen is that it'll boil up and it'll overflow. So whenever I'm cooking noodles, I just kind of prop it to the side. Hopefully you might have a top that has an open um, hole where it can steam out, but if not, just pop it to the side, it's perfect. Works the same way and that way you won't have a big mess. Some people put salt around the rim of the um, edge of the pot. Sometimes that works for me, sometimes it doesn't. So I just keep it kind of um, cockamamie and that way it doesn't overflow. And then here is my pasta sauce. The spaghetti and meatballs. Um, this is the marinara with the diced, finely diced vegetables and the meatballs. I added a couple of bay leaves and in my house when we were little, if you got the bay leaf, you had to do the dishes. <laughs> so there's one right there. I'm gonna try to avoid it. But it looks nice and thick and we're gonna show you um, how there's other ways to thicken sauce if it's not nice and thick like this. If you like the consistency of a thicker sauce and you don't add the extra vegetables to help make it thicker and you don't have this type of consistency when you're done, you can always add a small amount of cream cheese and um, that can thicken up the sauce as well. It is heavy and it's very savory, but it, it is good. It's just very, very um, rich. So we're gonna not do that tonight, which I thought maybe we would need to do earlier, but I think it's perfect the way it is. And then over here, I thought I would give you a tip 
on how to kind of jazz up a, a pretty simple Caesar salad. So I've gotten romaine leaves and I've cut them down the middle and I've chopped them in pieces. And um, I prefer to cut because I just don't want to put my hands all over everything. I've added some finely shredded Parmesan cheese. And a great way to, to add some more flavor to this so that you're just not putting in your Caesar dressing, your cheese, and your lettuce, your romaine, is I add a little bit of cracked fresh ground pepper. And I go ahead and take this the um, a fresh lemon and I just squeeze it over the top. And that way I cut down on the dressing that I use and it gives it a really bright flavor and it, it's just delicious. And so rather than using the shaped cheese that's ground and really mealy, I like to use this um, Parmesan finely shredded cheese. I think it tastes the most like the block if you don't have time to shred a fresh block of cheese of Parmesan and that way when you toss it, you have all of your ingredients that you love, and then you just use a little bit of the Caesars on top to kind of um, add a little bit more flavor, but honestly, the, the Parmesan, the pepper, and the uh, lemon is delicious. So those are just some great tips that I think are helpful for all you new homeowners and graduates out there to learn how to cook for yourself. If you have any questions, DM me or just drop them down in comments and I'll be happy to answer for you. And I hope this was helpful for you. Enjoy your meal.